Oh no, I think it's been brilliant. Um, even for just off the field sort of stuff, like being able to do different experiences, uh, travel the world and learn more about recovery in your body and stuff, mm. but also playing against some of the best players in the world, really. I know it's a completely different game, but some of the, the talent out there is phenomenal, really. Um, and no, just in terms of like working on being defenders, uh, working on my pace, things like that, that were really transferable onto 15 stuff. It's helped massively and I feel like it's really um, helped me improve since coming back. It's it's a pretty brutal sport um, mm. and um, so especially in between games, getting yourself back preparing is a yeah. completely different mindset. It's more of a mental game, that's what the boys are kind of the core players keep telling you. Yeah. you know, your mind kind of switches before your body does so it's, you feel like you're you're knackered but you, it's just kind of getting your, your mental game switched on in that regard but nah, it's, it's definitely the, the highs that way the lows yeah um, now i've done a little bit it's, um it's, it's not too bad at the beginning it was all very new everything was very new um so kind of systems and defending and stuff was different and it was quite tough um the only issue is kind of fitness the last camp at the beginning of the year i, I picked a little bit of a niggle so I didn't really do much training before going away so that was quite tough because I didn't quite feel like I was match match fit really going out and yeah dropping in between the two the main main thing is the fitness side of things because a lot of the sevens preparation is just is fitness based so you do miss that um, which is why to be fair the it's the boys dropping in aren't the boys expected to last a full game it's kind of do 10 12 minutes sort of thing put your body put everything on the line for that and then have a breather, really. So. I'm, as long as I'm on the pitch, I'm happy yeah. at the end of the day. I mean, I always thought of myself as a 15, um, but then I went away with a 7 and probably got that little bit extra yard of pace. Um, and I've tra like, tra transferred towards the wing this year, and more due to opportunity, really, yeah. to get some game time. And I'm, yeah, like I said, as long as I'm playing, I'm happy. Maybe long term, yeah, more at 15, but um, I don't really think too much about it, to be honest. Um, I'm the more I'm getting used to things and more and more on the wing now and it is it is different and well, there's obviously still got a lot left to learn there but um, I'm just enjoying being involved really. So, so. Well, I know it's still early days, I haven't played loads of rugby at that yeah. level but I've, I've had a good few games now and um, yeah I mean I wouldn't say I, um, I'm comfortable, it's still like a step up from what yeah. I'm used to but I enjoy the challenge and um, I don't, I'm not at the point where I'm really overawed by it now, I, I'm kind of relish in any, the opportunities and hopefully that um, kind of excel pushing on now really um, make it put a marker down really. So. Um, second year in my uh, law degree at Cardiff yeah okay. so yeah full time at the moment so I'm trying to juggle the two um, so Mondays I miss really and then the mornings I'm at uni but the rest of the time I'm just trying to be honest my days are spent training and then in the evening I go back in and, and work uh, it's, it's kind of um, lucky that the lectures and stuff are recorded, so I'm able to to keep up with that. Um, but no, it's nice, kind of a bit of like, refreshing to just go back and just kind of forget about rugby for a few hours and do a bit of work. I mean, I'm not saying it's easy at all, um, and there are times I struggle, but I I feel like I'm ticking along okay, and um, hopefully, if all goes to plan, this time next year I'll be looking towards the the end sort of thing. I'm doing my degree, but Hallam's on another level, I think, with his medicine, so fair place for me. I do speak to him actually quite a bit about how he manages and how yeah. he manages stuff, and he has been good like, good to learn off people like Hallam in general, not just studying wise. Uh, and obviously, Zayn as well, talks to, uh, really good with the youngsters. Um, so there's a good a good mix now. I mean, Hallam's quite young, but there's still a good mix of experience involved flooding through the squad now, and it's good just to tap any ideas we can get off of them, really, of, of, of everything.